Horner reveals new Sky F1 and Red Bull details. Max Verstappen is one of the most successful and popular drivers in Formula One racing. However, he has recently announced that he will be boycotting Sky Sports, one of the main outlets for Formula One coverage. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will talk about the beef going on between Max Verstappen and Sky Sports. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. During the 2022 Formula One Grand Prix of Mexico, Max Verstappen shocked the racing world by declining to grant Sky Sports requests for interviews for himself and his team. Due to the fact that the organization in question is the primary F1 broadcaster in many of the most important markets across the globe, Verstappen's pick understandably caused a few raised eyebrows. Max Verstappen addressed the media after he had won his 14th race of the season and provided his thoughts on his decision to not watch Sky Sports. He said that it was due to the continuous disrespect that not only he but also his squad have been shown during the whole season. He also indicated that it was a factor in his decision. He said, it had nothing to do with this weekend, but this year has been a continuous, sort of like digging and being rude, particularly from one specific individual. At some point, I reached the breaking point, and from that moment on, I refused to accept it. Ted Kravitz and his remarks over Max Verstappen's title triumph from the previous season have been singled out as the one specific individual, according to various sources from different sites. Christian Horner, the president of Red Bull, said that the decision to skip the 2022 Formula One Grand Prix in Mexico was only made for that one event, and that starting in Brazil, everything would return to normal. According to Horner, the act was all about conveying a message, and he believes that it has been successfully delivered. This boycott, on the other hand, was successful in doing one thing. It rekindled the argument over the so-called British bias in the F1 coverage. Is it fair to say that Max Verstappen's decision to boycott Sky Sports was appropriate? The solution to this conundrum is not as straightforward as one would think. To begin, the Red Bull driver has the ability to pick and select who he wants to chat with and who he does not want to talk to. According to a number of media, the heated remark in question was made by Ted Kravitz after the 2022 Formula One United States Grand Prix, which Max Verstappen won by defeating Lewis Hamilton. Kravitz made his first reference to the fact that Lewis Hamilton was cheated out of the championship in 2021 in Abu Dhabi when he said the following. Hamilton doesn't win a race all year and then finally comes back at a track where he could win the first race all year, battling the same guy who won the race he was robbed of in the previous year and manages to finish ahead of him. Kravitz was referring to the fact that Hamilton had been the what a screenplay and a tale it would have been to tell. But that's not how things went according to plan today, is it? Further, Kravitz would go on to imply that the only reason Verstappen was able to beat Hamilton was very much because of Adrian Newey. He explained it like this, because the man who beat him after he was robbed really overtook him, because he's got a speedier vehicle, because of engineering and Formula One and design, and pretty much because of Adrian Newey over there. Kravitz concluded the monologue by stating that Max Verstappen does not seem to be a driver who is capable of winning a championship in the traditional manner, saying, Verstappen is about the Austin paddock. He appears quite content with himself. It does not seem like he is the kind of race car driver who might ordinarily take home the title. This is not the first time that Ted Kravitz or other members of Sky Sports have expressed their opinions in this manner. Earlier in the weekend of the 2022 Formula One Mexican Grand Prix, Simon Lazenby made the assertion that Max Verstappen's two world championships were the consequence of a cost cap violation committed by Red Bull. There is strong evidence to suggest that Ted Kravitz's speech after the Formula One United States Grand Prix was not the impetus driving the boycott. The decision was made as a consequence of the accumulation of things that have been said about Red Bull and the frequency with which the event that occurred in Abu Dhabi has been brought up. Now, to address the issue that was posed, was the boycott appropriate? Max Verstappen is the one who will ultimately decide the winner. Despite the fact that there is evidence to suggest that he has been disrespected, it is totally up to him to decide where he wishes to draw the line. Now let's talk about the controversy surrounding the alleged inherent British bias 
that exists in the Formula One broadcast that the fans point out. The so-called British bias argument in Formula One coverage. The social media uproar was sparked by the conspiracy idea that was conjured up surrounding Yuki Tsunoda's safety car-inducing DNF at the 2022 Formula One Dutch Grand Prix. As a direct consequence of this, Lewis Hamilton supporters targeted Hannah Schmidt, a strategy engineer at Red Bull, and subjected her to horrific harassment. Moving on from that, one of the intriguing things that have happened recently is how the British media has reacted to Max Verstappen's decision to boycott Sky Sports. A magazine drew parallels between Verstappen and Vladimir Putin. When the Red Bull driver shouted racist comments at Lance Stroll, another person investigated the Dutchman's prior behavior. A third magazine has referred to Christian Horner as a failure in their writing. Since Verstappen has decided to stop watching Sky Sports, it is hard to understand why he is so angry about what happened in the past, and it seems like he has no right to be. Max Verstappen has every reason to feel offended by this targeting, and he even has the ability to say that this vilification has been going on ever since he began competing for the championship. Max Verstappen has every right to feel aggrieved by this targeting. The idea that a journal that was once considered to be the gold standard of Formula One was able to produce an open letter to Max Verstappen was surprising for any Formula One fan. When it comes to reporting news in an objective manner, this kind of media falls well short of expectations. It is not an issue with Sky Sports, rather, it is a problem with Formula One. It does not look good when the incumbent world champion and the official Formula One broadcaster are at odds with one another. But it's possible to point the blame on Sky Sports for having commentary or an inherent prejudice against British drivers, especially considering that Sky Sports is primarily a British broadcaster that not only serves the viewers, but also benefits financially from it in the form of more income. It's not really anything to be concerned about. Sky's commentary and story construction are just fine, even if they have a bias toward the British. It is also not Sky Sports' fault in any way. However, the fact that Sky Sports is able to maintain its monopoly is one of Formula One's flaws. The Formula One championship, on the other hand, requires broadcasting that is less biased, either by revising its arrangement with Sky Sports or by putting resources into F1 TV and having its own in-house production for the worldwide broadcast, it is possible for it to accomplish this goal. Things have now returned to normal between the team and Sky since Red Bull made it plain that the boycott was about making a one-off position rather than being a long-term gesture. Consequently, Red Bull and Sky have reconciled their differences. During the driver's press conference that took place on Thursday in Brazil, David Croft, a pundit for Sky F1, approached Verstappen with a question. In a subsequent conversation, Verstappen was asked about the problem with Sky. And he responded by saying, yeah, we put a stop to it. So we simply keep on going. After the Mexican Grand Prix, Christian Horner, the leader of the Red Bull team, said that his organization was furious about any notion that Max Verstappen's first driver's championship in 2021 was tainted. We don't believe that an allegation of championships being stolen is something that is an objective perspective, stated Horner. I think an accusation of championships being snatched is something that, to put it another way, we do not believe that this is in any way fair or balanced. Max was understandably unhappy by it, and the rest of us on the squad are standing behind him 100%. We were both frustrated by it to the same extent. This weekend, as a team, we came to the conclusion, and I personally came to the conclusion, that we should take the weekend off. This brings us to the end of our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. We will see you in our next video till then peace.